Hey everybody, Ray here. You know, one of the tools that I have in my shop is a trim router. These come in handy. The problem is sometimes to effectively use these, you really need to be able to drop it into a table. And a router table just takes up too much space. I'm gonna show you a small portable router table that you can get for a pretty inexpensive price. You can take it out when you need it, put it away when you don't, and it doesn't take up too much space. And if you've got a small shop in your garage like I do, space is at a premium. If you want to see this, stick around, I'll show it to you. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe. So there's my little router table. As you can see, I just hang it up on a pegboard behind my workbench. It really takes up no space at all. And the way I've done that is to take the router table, there's a couple of holes right here, if there's not, just make your own, and I connected that to a French cleat. So it's got a 45 this way on this board, and a 45 the other way on that board, and it just clips right into that cleat. You can look up French cleat if you want to know how to make those. What makes this so handy is when you take it down, you just take it and you put it on the edge of your workbench, put a couple of clamps on there, and you're ready to go. Now the other thing I've found is that Adding this little piece to the back that I used to hang it up actually makes it easier to clamp to your bench and it gets the clamps a little further away from your workspace. So I brought you in a little closer so I could show you a little bit more detail about this little router table. You can see that it comes with a router fence and that fence you can slide up and down to make sure that you're as close or as far away as you need to be from your router blade. And then on the front here, it also comes with a little safety guard. Most of the time, I leave this safety guard on there. There's something about router blades that just scare me. Just the fact that your finger can go in there and get nipped off in an instant just worries me. So I tend to use this little safety feature. The other thing that it has is a dust port on the back here. And if you've ever worked with a router, you know that routers create all kinds of dust and wood chips so I'm going to show you how I use this very easily with my shop vac. Now when you buy this little router table it comes with its own base plate for your router and so you just take your old base plate off and put this one on there it fits in there you can see all of the holes that are in here that it's pre-designed to fit just about every trim router that's out there. So all you do is feed your cord down through the bottom and then this will drop right in there. There are three set screws that you can adjust from the bottom that will allow you to raise or lower this base plate. And the purpose of that is to make sure that your base plate is nice and smooth with the top of the table so your wood will slide right across without an issue. And I've never had any problem with that. Those little adjustments work just great. So it's just that simple to mount your router in here. Now for dust collection, what I've done is just take a small piece of uh, pipe wrap, that's all this is, and then I sliced it at an angle, sort of a, a little bit of a V angle, and I cut that piece out. That allowed me, when I closed it and taped it back together, one end would be smaller than the other end. Now what that allows me to do is to take the small end and fit it inside of the dust collection port on the back of my router, the larger end will accommodate my shop vac hose, just like that. So that fits together really well. I don't have room, or frankly the money, to buy a big dust collection system. So I'm always trying to create ideas like this to control dust, particularly if I'm using a router. So I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna just route a short board here and show you how well this dust collection works. You can 
see that I'm not collecting any dust at all. I've done my routing, and all of the dust has gone right into the vacuum. All right, you've done the routing that you need to do. All you had to do was take your router out of the table. It just pulls right out. Remove your clamps and put this away to the next time you need it. In my case, it goes right behind me on this pegboard. Well, there you have it, a router table in a small shop that hardly takes up any space at all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.